www.smyrnaacademy.com. My name is Annabelle Rawson and I am the Global Smyrna Experience Director and I'm here in Mumbai getting very excited for the a big event that is taking place in Bangalore on Saturday, so just two days away now. And um, it's going to be amazing. So the story is that India and Canada have swapped nightlife. So um, what's going to be happening in Bangalore is that they're bringing to life all the best cultural elements that you, you, you see in Canada in their nightlife, specifically Toronto. So there's going to be a lot of snow and a lot of ice. There's going to be amazing Smirnoff drinks with maple syrup in to reflect all the taste profiles of the Canadian market. There's going to be some brilliant talent and some great mashups that are mixing up both Indian and Canadian talent and the music scenes. And it's going to be a really amazing, I think, unforgettable evening for everybody. everybody thanks for coming tonight. It's been a long time I've been in this wonderful city, which has been a huge inspiration um, for me musically and spiritually. And I know so many faces there. Thank you for coming. And this is an incredible um, feeling um, to be on stage with two incredible composer musician nights of wonderful electronic acoustic um, um, sound music and uh, thank you for listening very very carefully tonight thank you very much Yeah, I've actually been surprised how actually close to Western culture. Um, a lot of the nightlife is, and a lot of, a lot of the, the, the stuff that happens is uh, quite close. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. I'm enjoying myself. Uh, being in Mumbai again was fantastic. Um, the nightlife was amazing. There was lots of good clubs, lots of good bars. Uh, it was good to see some really um, sort of crazy lighting effects in in the clubs, like we saw in Trist and uh, last night in Trilogy. Um, and some good bars as well. I had a good time in the Hawaiian Shack, which when I was there, I suddenly remembered that I was I'd been here before, like four years ago, which is quite weird. Good cocktails. Um, and yeah, so yeah, really pleased with the nightlife. I've just done my report for my own uh, website as well, just singing the praises of Mumbai's nightlife. So um, yes, recommended to those watching out in the web land, come over to Mumbai and embrace the madness. I think the most wonderful thing about Bombay that I wasn't expecting was an incredible diversity of nightlife. We had rooftop bars overlooking the whole of the city that were alive with, with wonderful, vibrant young people. And then equally, we had fantastic underground bars, dive bars, where everyone relaxed, had a couple of beers, shot some pool, drew walls, and I wasn't expecting that kind of a range, I have to say, and it's definitely going to bring me back to the city. So, uh, I was surprised to see the nightlife of how Indians partied and just to see how they tick, and I was just really surprised by it, it was pretty cool. Um, I even saw some monkeys and one of them stole my coat, so that was interesting, but um, yeah, I've had a good time. Pretty happy people in Bombay, uh, a pretty good welcome. In a, in a rooftop party hosted by Malini, and uh, I, I should, I must confess that I, will, uh, I was very surprised because I, I never imagined that 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 exists in, in modern India, and I really, really, really like it so much. Be sure I'll come back. <laughs> what did I think of the nightlife in Bombay? I thought it was really vibrant, and uh, I think the kind of there's a juxtaposition. There's kind of like the swanky bars, and then there's the kind of what I'd call a spit and sawdust bar, which is where the kind of your local people go, and that's what I prefer. I prefer seeing the kind of what what the real people do. Um, it's nice to you know have a posh bar with a brilliant view of the city, but I'd like to get right down amongst the street. And yeah, it was great. It was great. Real hustle and bustle. Uh, fantastic. I'd love to go back. Um, it was very different from what I expected. Um, this, it's, uh, the city has a lot of contrast to it. So um, what you experience during the day um, doesn't 
lead you to expect what you experience at night. Um, there was some a lot of a lot of variety in where we went as well, and Malini was very good at uh, taking us to the right places. So, thank you, Malini, and uh, we had a great time. Bombay was completely different to what I expected. Um, the nightlife was fantastic, very, very vibrant, very cosmopolitan. I met people from so many different countries and so many different places who are all living in Bombay and uh, enjoying their lives there. Um, completely, as I said, different to what I expected because there wasn't, I suppose, it was very, I would say it was very Western. It was very unique. It was very individual. It was a very good mix of Indian music and European music and American music. And everybody seemed to be having a great time, which is great in a city like that. So we're talking about nightlife in Bombay. It was fun. Uh, it was different. In the beginning, it was different from what I expected. But then after, you know, Malini, and that's what I call you, Malini, like a Malini, because you're cute like that. Um, after you took us out to some clubs, it was just, it was fun. It was a, a lot more what I was used to back home in, or what I'm used to, sorry, back home in Canada. I mean, it's different because the people are different and I, there's a variety in music in terms of like a little more house, maybe a little more Indian music being played as well. But in general, it, it had a really, really good vibe. The last club we went to, really, really good. I had way too much fun for one night. And then um, the party that you hosted, of course, at the, um, Four Seasons was also amazing. So it was cool. I mean, it, there's like a difference between you see the city and then you see the nightlife. So there's a little bit of difference in that. But I could totally see myself living in Bombay and partying with you, obviously. Cool. I was surprised by how much kind of uh, American chart music we heard. But that's, that's cool. That's kind of universal these days. But I had a really good time. Um, I think, I think it, the city is a reflection of itself in terms of the, the music and, and how it works. And, uh, yeah, I had a great time. Enjoy. Hi, Malini. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking us out in Bombay and showing us your city. We had such a great time with you and Nasha and all of your friends. We saw some really great clubs and had some nice drinks. And um, yeah, so thanks. Um, I thought the nightlife in Bombay was, was, was fantastic, very colourful. People were very friendly. The clubs were, were amazing. They wouldn't be out of place in London or New York. Um, and yeah, I had a great time. Um, open late. Uh, yeah, very, very vibrant, very busy. Even in midweek, there was there was always lots of people out, which I thought was, was a rare thing. In London, that's not really the case. So yeah, it was, it was fantastic music-wise. Um, hit and miss, but you know, everyone, you know, can't can't please everybody all the time. So I had a, I had a wonderful time in Mumbai, and I'd definitely be returning again.